Jack is an art director. So we had a team who had been through a complete cycle of development for the PlayStation 3. Partially because of that, we were able to kind of take what was at the core of the Ratchet style that we loved and that players loved from the first games, but also really take it in an interesting new direction or new hardware. Because of all of that, you know, I think we had a much smoother than expected transition between the projects. We certainly had a really valuable pre-production for Ratchet and Clank Future, but we were also able to add a whole lot of experience from the Resistance team. So even though on the surface, Ratchet and Clank and Resistance are kind of night and day in terms of style and tone and everything else, underneath everything, we use a lot of the same techniques to make the artwork. So we came up with a lot of methods for modeling, for texture and shader creation, for just the way we put characters and environments together that really translated directly from one project to another. Also, we came up with a lot of ways of simply kind of scripting big action sequences that translated really well. So when you look at a level like Metropolis, which is playing on the TV back there, that has a level of, just a level of immersion and a level of things blowing up that we really never would have been able to achieve had we not gone through a full cycle with Resistance. We just learned a lot about taking out physics calculations, getting effects on screen, and getting activity on screen, and all of that plugged directly into the new Ratchet title. 